Uh, okie dokie, everybody. Well, good morning, and welcome to my cast. Um, and then, um, once again, uh, like I've been doing, I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, just show a nature video, and there's gonna be next to no visuals or anything. It's just gonna be me talking. So, and, um, um, once again, I do have, I think I've got a fair amount I gotta cover. So, this, this might take a while. So, let me go ahead and... Oh, and um, this is going to be a, vo a 4K virtual hike through a Canadian forest um, somewhere in British Columbia. But yeah, but yeah, I think I've played this once before. Um, it just So I'm basically just picking up where I left off. So we're on the 10 minute mark. Okay, so yesterday, uh, my pinball session, it went totally terrible. Um, well, Pinball FX3, I mean, it went all right. I mean, nothing great, but nothing too bad. Um, but once I switched over to Pinball Ar Arcade, I was just horrible. I think I lasted maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, I just ended up bailing out of that. Just no sense in going on. And then I decided to go ahead and switch over and uh, play Windjammers 2 instead. But uh, that didn't, no luck there either. Um, I think I did uh, did one or two online matches. But I ended up getting my butt kicked both times. Just, I'm really, really bad with the fundamentals. Unlike, uh, unlike yesterday. So, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a drink of uh, some Arizona green tea. But yeah, so bad stream yesterday. But uh, one good thing that did happen though is uh, I guess uh, yesterday, um, Final Fa they uh they finally decided to fix the sound problems on Final Fantasy fourteen. Um, I was I was only on on it maybe like fifth like probably around a half hour or so, uh, just testing it out and it seemed to work. So. I think all is well in Final Fantasy XIV land. So what that means now is um I don't I don't know how I'm gonna work the game in because like I mean I've already I've already got a bunch of other games on my plate. You know, Windjammers 2, Guilty Gear Rev 2, Killer Instinct, um and then uh and then off stream, but probably only on my nights off, it'll be um I'll probably be playing a fair amount of Gems of War. You know, so I've still got all these other games I'm wanting to play. So i am still trying to figure out where the hell to stick uh, Final Fantasy XIV in now that it's working. Or now that it's uh, working again. So, hopefully I'll have something figured out, though. But, uh, I, but I, yeah, I'm, at a, I'm at a point now where... Possibly due to MMO burnout, like what happened to me with uh, Guild Wars 2. Um, I'm actually getting to where I'd rather play fighting games than MMOs. Um, which, uh, another reason kind of occurred to me. Um, unlike uh, unlike uh, RPGs, there's basically, there's really no concept of leveling up. Um, I pulled out one of my old Dungeons and Dragons books. And I was starting to read, you know, started reading through some of this. Um, I also remember back when I was streaming uh, Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate 2. Um, one thing that really, really pissed me off about those games is just, uh, what was it? It's just that once per day crap, like such and such ability can only be used once per day. That I really hate that. Not to mention uh, so much level lock stuff, like, you know. At level two, you can you have a small chance of deflecting arrows, you know. And at level three, your fists do plus one damage. I'm kind of talking about monk, but you know, at level four, once per day you can do this ability, and then at level five, you do plus two damage, and then level six, 
Um, you can do this ability once per day. You know, and so on and so forth. It, it, you know, after reading through some of this and, fight, you know, just having these uh, Baldur's Gate flashbacks to all the frustration I was going through trying to play that game again with that once per day crap. You know, and then the, um, and then a lot of the level locked abilities. You know, sure would love to have it, you know, at level 20, you are immune to physical damage. Well, that, sh that, that ability sure would have been nice to have back when I was level level one, or level 1 or level 2 when I was getting my ass kicked by just about everything and having to restart the game because I kept getting killed. You know, hell, I think by the time I got to level 20, I probably would have gotten so damn geared up and so damn good at the game, I wouldn't need it. Whereas uh, in fighting games, for the most part, you ain't got that problem. But yeah, it, it was a conclusion I came to yesterday. It just, you know, all of your abilities, again, there's prop, there's exceptions here and there, but all of your abilities are right there for you to use. You might have to do these, you might have to do these wacky motion inputs. Um, Guilty Gear Rev 2 comes to mind. Yeah, you, you have to do, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I can't, I can't really explain it to you, but if you have an animal, if you have a controller, like, you know, you got, you have a motion input, like, you have to do a half circle from, from forward all the way back, and then back to forward again, pushing, then you got to push a, push an attack button, and then you have some other motion inputs, you have to do like a quarter circle from, if you have the joystick down to forward, and then a, and then a, and then an attack button, sometimes you have to do these, you know, constantly, and then there's like a, a super special move that you have to you have to input the down to forward motion twice in a row and then attack button you know like I said it just you know some of these games have some really wacky inputs you know a lot you know and if you're in the middle of battle a lot of times it's it's pretty much pointless to even do them because you want especially with you know especially with the slow reflexes that I got you know and, the, the 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 slow hand eye coordination you know what have you you know I you know I won't be able to do these you know abilities like like instantly not like these young kids are young able bodied and I mean hell you should hear some of them type I mean it's like they're typing like two three hundred words a minute you know I mean these these kids are quick I mean they could do these motion inputs a hell of a lot faster than I could. But, you know, but again, you know, on the upside, though, there's no cooldown on them. You know, it ain't like most, you know, MMORPGs. Like, you know, the aforementioned Dungeons & Dragons. Oh, I'm kind of talking the tabletop version. Not the video game version, although... Uh, what the hell are you talking about, Joe? No, Baldur's Gate. Duh! You know, it is, it is like these other games where, there, you know, there's a cooldown involved. Or there's that once per day shit. You know, or there's, you don't get this ability until you, until you manage to, to survive long enough to get level 15. You know, that kind of thing. Fighting games don't have this. All your entire toolkit is available to you. Now, again, you might have to do, you might have to mangle the living hell out of your controller in order to make them work, but at least you can. You know, at least they're available. So, so yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why I've been more into fighting games than uh, MMORPGs. I mean, I still want to play Final Fantasy XIV. Don't get me wrong. But I think um, at this point in time, it's probably going to be lower on the priority list. So. And, but again, I still want to work it in. I mean, it's only because I'm basically paying, uh, I'm paying 30 bucks a month you know, to play this game. And for the and that, that and the, the post blogs, you know, the post uh, Final Fantasy fourteen Lodestone blogs, like, yeah, in order to post on them, you have to have an account. So, which means I, I have to pay 30 bucks a month. So, yeah, for the period of time that I wasn't playing the game, I'm paying 30 bucks a month for uh, blogging privileges. So... But, but take another drink. They're, and they're changing the scenery on this thing a little bit too often. 
and more on this later. But anyway, um, more but on. But yeah, um, but after that, I pretty much spent a good chunk, spent a good chunk of the night playing Jumps of War. Uh, just trying to get um, again trying to satisfy my weekly guild quota, and as as stated in my previous other casts, I'm pretty much burnt out on this game. But at the same time, as uh, Jake Ryan kind of mentioned, I don't. I don't want to let the guild down. I mean, they they have a weekly minimum that you have to make. Otherwise, you risk being kicked. But even then, I mean, even without that, I, you know, I've been I've had times where, especially in World of Warcraft, where, where um, it was like me, and a few other core members in our guild. Everything else is just a revolving door. So, we were the pillars. Um, same thing with my uh, real life job. And as well as other jobs I've worked at, I was up. Uh, they're, they're, they're probably up. Uh, I was probably one of few people that stuck around. You know, everybody else, they work, work this job for a short time. And man, fuck this place. Pew, off they go. You know, um, with my current job, with the way uh, management, with the way management is, it's totally understandable why they quit in one day. Because the current management we have is pretty harsh. But I mean, I mean, I've had a, uh, I've had jobs where uh, management was actually cool as hell. You know, some of the best I've ever worked for, and people still quit within a week. So it's it's stuff like that that makes me stay. You know, I must really be onto something here. I mean, my current job now, Walmart. Um, one of the other reasons why I'm you know staying with that, staying with this job is uh, I live only a quarter mile away from it. And I make more money here than I did at any of my other jobs. I mean, despite what I have to put up with. But still, you know, the money and the location, I guess it's still worth it. You know, but I've, I've, uh, I've worked with people for short periods of time that will quit almost immediately not realizing what they have. I mean, I mean, yeah, well... Walmart does. I mean, I mean, yeah. There, in fact, there was a, there, there was a. I think it was. I think it was Second Thought. I want to say it was that channel that they were. Uh, they were talking about the evils of Walmart. No, wait. It was um. It was a guy named Jake Tran. In fact, uh, I no longer, I no longer watch his videos because uh, he. I guess he's um. Uh, the only reason why he's uh, making videos. Is to promote products, to promote his sponsors, and that's it. Yeah, that's what it was. Because uh, in this video, he was talking about Walmart and all the evils of it. You know, it, 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 was, it was, but it's stuff that I've heard before, and it's stuff, it's stuff that really isn't unique to Walmart. I mean, yeah, they they've had a few class action lawsuits. You know, I mean, management gets pretty douchey, but I've actually worked at other jobs that did almost the same shit that Walmart does. You know, trying to force people to stay past, you know, trying to force people, you know, forced overtime, I think is one of them. Um, refuse vacation, or refuse time off, I think was another one. But it, 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 it's been so long, but uh, I've had uh, similar experiences in other jobs I work for too, not just Walmart. So... But, it, you know, again, I mean, the current job I'm working at now, it's going to be very tough for me to quit. So. Okay, so, moving right along. Um, yesterday, um, the, uh, the cast I made two days ago, uh, you got to take down notice. And so, since uh, the one I made yesterday was from the same channel, I'm guessing it's probably going to get a takedown notice as well. So, I've, I've said this before in other casts, I'll say it here. If you guys like what you see in here, then I highly recommend you download it. I highly recommend you download the, uh, the, the video. Because who knows how long they're going to stay up. So, you know, on one end... 
I want it, it it gets frustrating having to do this, but um the really hard part is uh these aren't uh, these aren't being tripped up these aren't being tripped by the content ID system. Cause that's just a bot. It's automated. Like I'm actually getting emails from um from YouTube saying, you know, I have seven days to do something, otherwise they're taking down the video themselves and giving me a copyright strike. I take them down immediately. Why? They're, it's not worth the trouble. And, um, but it was, I also had another flashback to many years ago. Um, I co-signed on a, I co-signed on a new car for my brother-in-law because, oh, how did it go? Yeah, he was having a uh, major mechanical problems with his uh, previous car, and I was getting really tired of chauffeuring the family all over the place to wherever they had, wherever they had to go. So yeah, I went ahead and co-signed on the car. Um, but I think it was a brand, it was a brand new car. The other, the other cars that he's had were all used ones. You know, I know I want to. Some people might question the decision. Well, gee, if you could only afford used cars, there was probably a reason, Joe. Yeah, well. If, you know, because you know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen. Or no, I, I, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Well, is you know, as long as nobody does anything, nothing's gonna get done. You know, I mean, he needed a new car, not just the old pieces of junk. I mean, he probably had bad credit, but then again, if no, if if nobody helps him, nobody will. If that makes any sense at all. So yeah, I went ahead and co-signed on the on the new car. Uh, about a year later, he lost his job. So, and uh, normally, and and if the guy, if the main guy can't afford, can't afford it anymore, or if he defaulted on the loan, then they're gonna go after the co-signer. But what he did though is he uh, he filed bankruptcy immediately after. Meaning nobody can go after anybody. You know, because now the collectors and the bill collector is still gonna get his uh, he's still gonna get his payment and all that. So they can't come after me. Uh, but many years later, though, um, I'd probably say about seven years to be exact. I think I got a call from a collection agency saying I owe twenty-five grand. Like apparently he wasn't making any of these bankruptcy payments. But um, I called a lawyer about it. Or no, actually, um, I checked. Uh, I checked the statute of limitations. I think it was like six years. And it's been seven years since I, you know, since I got a call. I mean, I want to, I want to ask about this. But uh, I was, I, I was afraid of uh, opening a really big can of worms. So I just went ahead, took the plunge and called a lawyer. I mean, there, there, there's a, there's a reason I'm explaining this, but. So I got the lawyer secretary and I, you know, gave her my story. And she basically said exactly what I was thinking. Um, you're in a, you're in a rock, you're in a very tough place. You know, you're between a rock and a hard place because if you talk, if you talk to the, uh, I think if you talk to the car dealer, I think that's what you said. If you talk to the car dealer or the collection agency, no matter what's going to happen, whether good or ill, they now know you exist. They now know about you. So, yeah, so it's a very risky proposition. So kind of the same thing here why I don't I don't dispute copyright claims I don't dispute takedown notices whether um it's too risky whether it works or not they now know about me so I basically I have more to lose than to gain by talking to them you know I mean off the top of my head you know maybe the guy who issued the takedown notice. If I actually talk to him, they, you know, and they now know my channel, they know my name, Joe Schmo. Um, they might actually start contacting other people. Hey, look out for a guy named Joe Schmo. He might steal your content. And yeah, so keep a lid up, you know, keep a lid on your kitties eating fi eating fish and chicken. He might, you know, he might steal those. You, know. you got you lock up your dog walking videos. Yeah, he might up. He might steal those, despite the fact that they're not even being monetized. You know that kind of thing. So, so yeah. So like I said, 
if I get a copyright claim or a takedown notice, I just remove them immediately. So that's why I say, if you guys like what you're hearing and seeing, then download it. I mean, personally, I think it's a bunch, deep down, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. I, you know, and I could probably say fair use. In fact, uh, I think I did look at a, I did look at a page and there was like a bunch of considerations that uh, courts consider. And I think I check a lot, I check off a lot of the boxes. So, but like, but like I said, I don't, I don't want it to come to that thing. Not to mention that uh, court fees are super expensive. Lawyer fees are also super expensive. Oftentimes, you're having to pay more. You're having to pay more for the court costs and the lawyers than you are uh, the the money you or whatever you whatever you would have won from the case. That's why oftentimes um, the the loser in the court case often have they're um, it's often written in that they also have. They have to pay their uh, their opponent's court costs and lawyer fees and all that. That's why a lot of times that's actually written in because of how expensive it is. So, again, I just as soon as delete the stuff, then I'll run the risk of going through that. I learned that lesson the hard way many years ago. Oh, and in case anyone's curious, nothing went down. Um, I think I did. I sent the collection agency a letter saying that um that it that this that uh, this this bill was uh was about a year past the statute of limitations and there wasn't anything they can do about it i hadn't heard from them since so i dodged a serious bullet there so but anyway um i think i'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here um Oh, and um, one thing one thing I did do, um, as um, kind of a part and parcel to this, I might post the link in the description, but um, yeah, it, it he it, I don't I don't have the time to explain it here, but Emperor Lemon he explains it a lot better, but like I said, I'll if I can remember to, I'll go ahead and post the links to all the all the stuff about copyright. Anyway, once again, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, otherwise, I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning. So, so yeah. Uh, but otherwise, uh, thanks for thanks for uh, dropping in. And, or, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. My, I'm kind of scatterbrained right now. My brain's going in different directions at once. But anyway, um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me. Always appreciated. And this will be the last cast for the week as my work week has started up. So you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now. And oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, 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 wait. Not, not quite over. Not quite over. Um, um, I forgot to add something else too. I did, I did, um, I did go on YouTube and I typed down free to use or like nature hike free to use. Um, a few videos from this very channel came up. Um, I forget the name of it, but it's like 4K Relaxation Channel. But yeah, like I said, I typed down Nature Hike, free to use. This came up. I also typed down uh, NatureHike.cc. CC meaning Creative Commons. Um, I typed that down, and uh, some videos from this very channel came up. So, but yeah, I, I totally forgot to mention that. So, I'll just go ahead and uh, add this part on to the rest of the video. Uh, but once again, thanks for tuning in listening to me. I'm um, just going to go ahead and uh, get to editing and uploading and processing and all that other good stuff. So, take care, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye-bye.